way I'm giving you a credit card. Whatever you want to do with 100,000, you use it with a credit card, that 100,000. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we'll that. Stephanie, she will introduce herself. Plus one is equals to two. Two plus two, two is equals to four. Then four plus soma mambo mengi kwa biashara na shukuru KCB na shukuru biashara club kwa sababu imetufunza mambo mengi imetufunza even for the saving I'm retired I'm 62 hata walikuwa na toa india tumefunzwa mambo ya wakati tunafika over 60 na nimesoma mambo mingi hata wakati niko na over 60 na shukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya vire mambo ya biashara ile nitafanya itaweza hata kusaidia watoto wangu kusaidia hata wanjukuu na shukuru kwa sababu hivi ni for the budgeting hata pale nimefika ni na shukuru Mungu kwa sababu nimesoma mambo mengi na nitaenda ku implement hmm. I am in the business of uh, poultry farming and dairy farming and uh, through my poultry through with the help of KCB I've been able to expand and open a restaurant that sells chicken and chips. Um, we have many challenges, like uh, right now during the drought season, the purchasing power is very low. And uh, we find that um, we are not able to sell as much as we are supposed to. We, the, the prices for chicken have gone down. And now when you see, when I have a lot of chicken I have slaughtered, we have an issue with storage because this is a perishable product. So with the help of KCB, we've been able to uh, purchase freezers. So during when the market, when the prices are low, we are able to store our chickens. Um, in terms of dairy, it's very dry right now. We don't have much water. So we have a challenge of feed for the cows. So what happens when we have a lot of cows, we end up selling some of them at not a good price because we don't have enough feed to feed them. My name is Patricia, branch manager KCB Embu. Today we were hosting a Biashara Club, which largely consists of our MSME customers. We were training and empowering them on uh, business skills, current trends, and available opportunities. Uh, Embu is an arid and semi arid area, and we are training our customers how to save. The turnout was impressive, and we encourage our customers, despite working in this Asal area, arid and semi arid area, to come forward in case of business challenges to the branch, KCB Embu, and we will be able to give you tailor-made solutions. Ni nafanya biashara ndogo ndogo hapa town Embu, na bado ni kwa biashara ya rentos, na kupitia masomo ya reo, ni mesaidika sana vire naweza kufanya diversification ni kafanya biashara zingine zinaweza kuniletea manufaa na kuniongezea faida uh, nimefaidika kimasomo kuhusu eh, jinsi ninavyoweza kufanya uh, kuweka wengine kwa raini ya kazi kama mimi siko kazi naweza kuendelea sababu nimekuwa nikifanya almost 90% ya kazi kwa biashara yangu so but nimesoma masomo ambayo imenisaidia ya kwamba ninaweza sasa kufanya delegation nisikue ndio mimi everything sababu wakati mimi siko unapata biashara haiwezi inakuwa haiendelei so nimepata man, masomo ya manufaa changamoto zimekuwa ni nyingi hasa wakati huu ambapo Bia za bidhaa iko juu sana so unapata uh, biashara iko chini kiasi but uh, tunashukuru Mungu sababu tunapata riski na nimesaidika binafsi na naamini kwamba yale nimesoma nitakuwa hata msaada kwa wengine nitasaidia wengine ndio tuweze kutembea pamoja na tushinde tukiwa wengi Kulingana na biashara siku hizi inaonekana iko ngumu na lazima uende extra mile ndio uweze ku, ku, kufit kwa biashara. Kwa hivyo sasa na haya masomo tunaweza kupata mbinu nyingi za kuweza kujipanga na kuweza ku uh, survive kwa hizo biashara. Kwa hivyo 
tunashukuru KCB kwa haya masomo ambayo wanatupangia na wanatuita tunakunja tunasoma na tukirundi pale tunakuwa na skills ya kuweza kupambana na zile changamoto ambazo tunapitia kama kukosa pesa wanatusupport maneno ya insurance juu ya risks pia wanatusupport na pia wanatupatia skills ya kuweza kufanya budget ya kuweza kupata skills zozote zile zinahitajika kwa biashara mbere ni mahali uh, pamekuwa panaita semekana ni pa kamera lakini siku hizi inaonekana especially if you compare the whole Embu county mbere ndio inaonekana kama the gold mahali gold iko juu wakati huwe asa wakati watu wanalima mira na wakati wanachota ile mchanga kutoka hiyo mbele na ukiangalia stima imetoka hiyo mbele na pia kuna river ambao wanatumia manji kulima kwa hivyo inaonekana siku hizi mbele ni an opportunity rand ambaye inaonekana hata watu wengi kutoka Meru kutoka pande hizi zingine wamekuja pale na tumekuwa cosmopolitan na tunaweza kuendelea na biashara zetu vizuri. Kwa hivyo mtu kama amejipanga pale, either ni ukulima ama ni biashara ya nduka, ama biashara zingine zile, Mungu amebariki hiyo area na tunaendelea vizuri. Kwa hivyo ningewauliza ya kwamba waweze kufikiria ku save sana bank ya KCB ambaye hata ukiangalia market price ya runes, ukiangalia vitu kama wengine nje wako na 18% wale wako west wako 15% lakini wao wakiwa the first tire bank wame maintain ile 13%. Kwa hivyo ningewauliza waweze ku save na KCB na iweze ku support kwa biashara zao na masomo tukiendelea mbele. Banke budget na budget lazima tujue tuwe na mission na vision na vile mambo tunataka kufanya biashara yetu. Lazima tupange mambo ya succession so that biashara zetu asitegemei tu sisi kuwa pale tufundisha wale wengine managers tuwapatie jukumu la kuendelea na, ma, na, na business hata wakati atuko hapo kazi inaendelea asante sana kwa sababu tumefundishwa mambo mingi na tunaambia hii group ya biashara club waendelee kufundisha watu wengi because the bible says our people perish because of lack of knowledge but once we give people knowledge and the skills mambo yote inaenda mzuri you are able to create wealth create our businesses alafu maisha inakuwa mzuri for the family and also for yourself. Tumefundishwa kwamba hakuna wakati maisha itakuwa mazuri. Lazima tujitahidi na kile kidogo tunapata we preserve it, we invest so that we, we, we move on because the attitude is very very important in life. If you say maisha ni mbaya, itakuwa mbaya. Ukisema maisha ni mazuri, Mungu atasaidia kutengeneza ile wajibu. Tutumie preserve, we preserve and invest whatever money that you get as a small business. And we should not be so ambitious. We don't want to be rich within overnight. Let's create wealth, slowly by slowly accumulate it by investing and saving even the money markets, even diversifying from the money that we invest so that we may be able to create wealth. In fact, the savings starts is very fair for young men, for young people, they should start investing now, saving. Because unless you start saving, at your own age, when you have no energy to do the work, it will be going to But once you start saving, accumulating the wealth slowly by slowly, by the time you reach that age of 60 years, already you have accumulated enough money that you can be able to make your life more comfortable, you will be more wealthy, and you will have surplus even to do other businesses.